My love, I promise to be a reliable support and protector of our family. You are my whole world. And this place is for you. I promise to always be there for you, to support and inspire you. You are my destiny. And I love you. Ira, Alec, I now pronounce you husband and wife. May the love that burns in your hearts keep your marriage safe. May you be happy. Shall you kiss? Kiss. 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 Friends, you are amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations, my dear. You are made for each other. Take good care of her. Nadia, do you have any single friends? How can such a decent man be single? It doesn't really work out. Everyone wants the oligarchs. It's okay. You'll definitely meet your destiny. And I will help you with this. Olena, hello. Hello, my dear. Excuse me, I'm in a hurry to get to the tax office. Wait, you sounded excited. Does something happen? Let's meet after work and chat, okay? okay I'll make a reservation. Mm -hmm. See, See you. Tonight. Open it. Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Shut up. Come on, Be let quiet. me go! As you can see, at the first stage, our factory's confectionery chain will consist of 10 establishments. Did I miss everything? No, the head confectioner hasn't been announced yet. Who is this? Victor Arlov, the new guy. I heard he studied at Legorda Mlu. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Then we will expand across the country. Mr. Petro here will name a head confectioner who will develop a unique menu for our chain. I have two candidates for this position. Victor Olav and Nadia Petrova. Victor Olav studied at Le Cordon Bleu, worked in the best pastry shops in Paris, and participated in the professional competitions in France. <laughs> Nadia Petrova. She is the honor of our factory. Her wedding cakes are ordered even from other cities. Congratulations. You'll win, I know it. Oh, thank you. You have two weeks to develop the menu. An expert committee will evaluate it, but I will still have the last word. That's all for today. I wish you all a productive day at work. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, I'm asking you to stay a bit longer. Today is my first day at work, and I have a little surprise for you. Thank you for giving Nadia a chance to prove herself. She's a very talented pastry chef. Yes, but I'm still betting on Orlov. I'll be interested to see how your Petrova competes. Believe me, Nadia will surprise you. And we will see this in two weeks. Oh, by the way, today my friend's daughter is coming to order a wedding cake from your Petrova. I ask that you do everything at the highest level. You don't have to worry. This is my signature recipe. Mmm. I made it especially for the occasion of our meeting. Please come closer, don't be shy. Let's go take a look. Well, let me help you cut the cake. Yes, thank you very much. For you, Miss Nadia. Just Nadia. We're all a big family here, even if we compete. Nice, it's a deal. Taste is very original. The result of many years in development. Mmm. Mmm, the cake is terrific. Will you share the recipe? A delicate sponge cake with cream, cheese, lime, coffee, and th three more secret ingredients. Uh, lingonberries and orange juice? I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Mm. Cinnamon and milk chocolate? 
Again? No. <laughs> Luba won't fall asleep until the morning. The juries of international competition still send me their versions, but no one has ever hit the bullseye. Salted caramel. And I'll definitely guess the other two. As always. I saw that you were late. So I left you a piece. Thank you. And what's going on? It's a gift from the new pastry chef. We'll now compete with Nadia for the title of chief technologist, and I... What? I'll probably go. Thank you. Hmm. Cardamom? The First Order. If you need help, don't hesitate to ask. I'll figure it out. Nadia, you'll definitely win the competition. You'll become the chief pastry chef. Then you'll open your own pastry shop like you've always dreamed of. Thank you. I'll do my best. How beautiful. And I have problems on my personal front again. What's it this time? Boris asked me out on a date. And? And then Valera showed up and wanted to meet. Again? Have you forgotten that he disappeared before your birthday? He had a sudden business trip. For three months without a call? Vera, no offense, of course, but you'll never be in his first place. But he's such an attractive man. Boris is responsible and decent. Valera is a narcissistic egomaniac. Or maybe I should go on a date with two at once. What if Valera has changed? Vera, think about it. Nothing will happen if I go on a date with both of them. I can't forbid you to do so. Go if you want. Ladies, don't you want to gossip somewhere else? People are actually working here. We have our own rules in the team. Spilling the tea about men while everyone else is working? Finding love with the help of Nadia. Interesting. So you're not just a pastry chef. You're also a Cupid? Nadia is our local matchmaker. A matchmaker? Really? Yes, I help people find each other. What's wrong with that? It's nothing. I just thought you were a professional, but it turns out you're a swindler and a middleman. A swindler? Yeah. You're teaching Vera how to play with two men at the same time. A swindler is an understatement. Nadia is not a swindler. She unites lonely hearts. Here, look. What should I see here? Happy couples. Nadia introduced them to each other. She's going to marry me off too. I'm afraid you have a little chance. No one likes a cheater. With a personality like yours, it'll be difficult for you to get along in our team. Vera. This team is going through big changes. Starting tomorrow, you'll work under my leadership. What? It's Mr. Kirillo's decision. Tomorrow at 7 in the morning, I'll be waiting for you at your workspace. Our working day starts at 8. And in my team, it starts at 7. And I'll ask all sorts of matchmakers not to distract you with nonsense. So, have you made your choice? I can't decide. Raspberry or mint pear? Yegord, what do you think? I'm sorry, darling. I have to work on business. Hmm. Take your pick. The wedding is taking place in an old castle. Dad wants to show off for his friends, and I don't want to upset him. It's a wedding present, after all. What kind of wedding would you like? Um, me? <sighs> Simple. On the shore with just us and our loved ones. And with the music of my favorite composer. Yeho, what is Christina's favorite composer? What's the point of this question? 
Well, I want to learn more about your bride and help you choose a wedding cake. Igor, you don't remember? Sorry, I don't. How many children are in Christina's music class? Am I being interrogated? <laughs> Igor, there are five boys and eight girls in my class. Christina's favorite dish will be served at your wedding. Can you name it? I don't have to report you. Is that clear? You know what's interesting? I have seen thousands of newlyweds, and their eyes really shine, but yours don't. Tell me honestly, are you marrying Christina for her father's money? What do you think you're doing? Okay, Christina, I don't like this pastry shop. Can we go somewhere else? And what kind of work do you have on your phone that's so important? Because then your eyes were really shining. You gotta show me your phone. Who do you believe more, her or me? Why are you messing around? Birdie, Christina. I'll see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. I'm waiting for you, my sunshine. There you go. <sighs> Christina. This wedding is canceled. What are, you, what are you doing? Do you realize how much all this costs? You won't get away with it. Christina! All you had to do was accept the job. He almost destroyed my office. Well, the guy lost his gold mine. That's understandable. Don't be ridiculous. How am I going to explain all this to Mr. Petro? But I had to save Christina. At the cost of your own career? Do you realize that you may be disqualified from participating in the competition? Okay. I'm ready to withdraw on my own, and then no one will have any problems. People will always come first to me. People, people. All right. I'll take care of it. Petrova, you'll give a heart attack to the father-to-be. Father? Is your wife pregnant? <gasps> Mr. Carrillo, I am so happy for you. It's a girl. We decided to name her Nadia. In honor of you. That's nice. I thought my life was over, and then you introduced me to Zana. Mr. Carrillo, can I go back to work? I have an important order. Ah, yes. Go, go. Yeah. Oh, and tell the pastry department to bring me something sweet. I need to eat my stress away. I trusted him so much. And he doesn't even know anything about me. You are kind and open, and he just took advantage of it. How can we fall in love... ...if we fall in love with illusions? I am going to introduce you to a very worthy man. Are you kidding? Introductions? Today is the worst day of my life. No, today is the best day of your life. You just got rid of a jerk who would surely have ruined your life. Trust me. I am not leaving the one for whom I spoiled the event. Hello. Olena, why weren't you answering your um, phone? Um, something happened to my SIM card. Hello? This is Olena, my friend. And this is nice Christina. Nice to meet you. We're going to match her with Misha. Mm. And here is Misha. Good evening. Good evening. sincere and profound. Yes, Misha is a talented musician. He was even invited to Europe. And after his wife passed away, he left everything for his daughter. Um, I'll be right back. <sighs> Don't ever call me again. No. We have nothing to talk about. If I see you near my house, I'll call the police. <sighs> hey, 
Is everything okay? Wrong number. Thank you. Hello. 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 <sighs> Good evening. Good evening. This is Christina. <clears throat> I haven't heard such a performance in a while. Thank you. Christina is also a musician. She studied at the Royal College of Music in London. Oh, I'm intrigued. Will you play something for us? Oh, you know, I haven't played in public for a long time, only for students. Ah, what a pity. Perhaps you could play together? That's a great idea. Shall we play? I'll support you. How did you manage to get me into this madness? Music is madness, uh. isn't it? You know, I'm so nervous that I think I've forgotten everything. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm right here. Um. I never cease to be amazed at how subtly you feel people, but their status difference will not allow them to be together. I don't think so. Christina doesn't really need all of that money. But you're right. I really can find the perfect match. And then it's up to them. Yes, it's always a job for two. So, Olena, tell me what happened to you. You've been on pins and needles all evening. <sighs> Eric's wife found out about us. Today she sent bullies to threaten me. Are you okay? I am. Olena, we need to tell the police. Don't, I told Eric, but he didn't believe me. He said his wife wouldn't do such a thing. So, he did choose her? No, he's still thinking, but I've made up my mind. It's over. Olena, I'll try to find you the perfect man, the right one. Just give me some time. I need a decent and wealthy man, and such people do not register on dating sites. You have the right requirements. Well, I can love anyone else. This is a compliment from the neighboring table. Thanks? No need, thank you. Mm. Well, we have to move on. This is no time to shed tears. Andre? Hmm? Which one do you like best? This one. Good. Maybe you shouldn't go to the mountains. You've just started climbing recently, and I'm worried. Honey, everything will be fine. Well, the instructor and the guys will be there. Do you want me to not go at all? No, no. Just be careful, okay? Yeah. I have the wisest bride. Let's dance. I don't dance. I will teach you. The girl at that table over there will be glad to have your company. Are you completely crazy to refuse him? It's been over a year since Andre. Olena, I'm moving on. You build the happiness of others and forget about your own. All right, your business, I'm leaving. You're leaving now? Yes, my date invited me for a walk. He works in the ministry. Okay, bye. Wait a minute. 
Take care of yourself, okay? Okay. Hello, Sonoskiya. I thought you weren't talking to me anymore. You're not easy to get rid of, Petrova. If you decide to make someone happy, you go all the way. How was the evening? Christina is charming. Is it Grandma? No, Nadia. Give it to me. Alia. Come on, give it. Alia persistently demands an audience. Hello? Hello, kitten. How are you? How's Vatic from the fifth grade? Vatic is fine. But it seems to me that our relationship is not developing. What should I do? What Vadik? Dad, your armor is going to burn. So, here it is. He's been carrying my backpack for two weeks now, but he hasn't invited me to the movies. What should I do? Listen, ask him out first. Maybe he's just afraid to take the first step. Your dad didn't dare ask your mom out for six months until she took matters into her own hands. Hmm. That's an option. Okay, give it to me. Now, eat and get ready for school. We're gonna be late. Are you already marrying off my daughter? Yes, I work with your family according to an individual schedule, Misha. But seriously, what about you? And seriously, I asked Christina out on the date, but I want to cancel it. But why? I can't betray Marina. Misha. Living on is not a betrayal. It's a choice. Nadia, I've been looking for you everywhere. Wow, you're shining like a <laughs> Christmas tree. I fell in love. With yesterday's gentleman? Well, no, he turned out to be married worse than ah. Eric. He invited me to see the sunrise at a country house while his wife and children were on vacation in Greece. Then who's the lucky one? Victor. The new pastry chef. This branded jerk? Do you have a minute? Let's go. Yes, sit down. Look. How handsome. Athletic. He won pastry tournaments. Regattas. Oh, he's not a man. He's Olena, a dream. be honest, he didn't make the best impression on me. And this is his pastry blog. He has a blog? But for some reason, he stopped posting a year ago. Yes, the last post was on October 9. Nadia. You have to help me win him over. Me? Yes. Start texting him on my behalf? No. Please, everyone sees me as a one-night stand, but I want a serious relationship, a family, children. Please, 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 he has to see me as more than just a good-looking girl with long legs. And you're both pastry chefs. Don't get along, won't you? I'm begging you for my sake, Nadia. Fine. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. But, but, I will give him a verdict tomorrow. Okay, it's a deal. I'll send you the password to the page. Okay, I'm off. October 9th. And here the ring disappeared. Guys, I'm new here. Can you tell me the recipe for chocolate frosting? let the amateur in here. Where are the administrators looking? Lady, you need to join the Housewives Without Brooms group. They'll tell you everything. It worked. Hey, can I take it? Yes. Just be careful with this one, please. 
Don't worry. I've been delivering cakes for years. I can handle it. Olina, don't pay attention to these vultures. I'm sending you a recipe for chocolate frosting. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much, Victor. It's so nice to have a real man in this community. I am very grateful to you. You stood up for me. That's rare to see these days. Don't be upset. Pastry chefs are narcissists by nature. They want to assert themselves at your expense. And you didn't let them. I appreciate that. I'm pleased. And what temperature guarantees optimal fluidity of chocolate glaze? Beginners don't ask questions. Who are you? You have caught me. I am your secret admirer. Secret admirer? Yes, I love your blog. And today I went to a pastry shop to buy desserts and saw you, but I didn't dare approach you. Why? I didn't want to disturb you. Your smile hides sadness. Moving to a new city is always a farewell to the past. Or escape. Yes, challenging check, challenging check, don't be afraid. Up. Back home. Well done. You guessed wrong. I love discovering new cities. That's why I'm here. And how do you like our city? Don't you miss the ocean? The city is wonderful, but I haven't had the time to get to know it yet, and the ocean is in my heart. It is impossible to part with it. Does it inspire your masterpieces? This is Captain Gray. When I was a child, 
I dreamed of Grey sailing to me under scarlet sails. Only when Grey finds his soul, she breaks his heart. I proposed to my ex-wife on a yacht under scarlet sails. Maybe it wasn't your soul, and a fairy tale is still possible. Fairy tales have sad endings. The authors just don't reveal it to us. And you say that your smile does not hide sadness? You are perceptive. Our city is full of surprises. I can give you a tour. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. I will be at the Fountain of Desires. You will love it. It was there that the French pastry chef, Arthur Perret, invented his famous dessert, the Chocolate Fountain. I'll be there. I'll be waiting. I have news for you. I have some for you, too. You're going I'm marrying on a date with Victor. What? He left his wife today. We're flying to Bali. Elena, he'll cheat on you again. Nadia, cancel the meeting with Victor and hide my profile. Eric is afraid his wife will ruin our trip. <laughs> I can't believe you're falling for this again. I just want to be happy, though. People don't change. Nadia, I've made up my mind. Don't be mad. I'm sorry, but I won't be able to give you a tour around the city. Did something happen? I'm going to the beach. I'll be back in two weeks. You owe me a city tour. Vera, Vera, wait, what happened? My brother got into a fight at school, and this French genius won't let me go see him. Why won't he let you? Because in his opinion, I'm a bimbo, and I'll run after men. This is not good enough. Yeah... This one neither. What are you doing? I'm working. Working? You made the girls' lives hell! Mastery is not achieved by whining, but by working hard. Well, why are you insulting Vera? Your Vera is taking time off from work. I won't tolerate slackers in my team. Either you work or you quit. By the way, what are you doing here? Don't you have anything better to do? We'll figure it out ourselves. The girls shouldn't have to pay for your failed life. What do you know about my life? I saw the photo. A year ago you had a ring on your finger, and now you don't. You've already gotten me on social media? Mind your own business. You're in pain. What's Vera got to do with your it? Your Vera... What? ...can be free today. Vera! Wait, please. What do you want? I wanted to ask. Well? Uh, I came to your workshop today and lost my keys. You didn't come to our workshop today. No, I didn't. Do you mind? It's okay. I'm sorry. Divorce is painful. But I'm ready to prove to you that I'm not a swindler. I'm going to find you a girl you'll love, and you'll trust again. That's nonsense. Only when pigs fly. I'm ready to bet. I'll find her. Or the position of chief technologist is yours. It's an easy victory, especially over matchmaker. 
The secret ingredients of your original cake, salted caramel, rum liquor, carrot juice. How do you know? And that's my secret. It will not be easy for you to become a chief technologist. So let's make a fair bet. Want to make a bet? Then we raise the stakes. How? When I win, I'll become the chief technologist. And you will stop matchmaking people and interfering in their lives forever. Agreed. So, we have almost completed your profile. There are some details left. Thank you very much. The most vivid memory in your life. Fishing with my father. Fishing? Really? Why fishing? You know what? I've already told you enough. Go on, finish filling this out and let's stop this torture. Okay. The only thing left to fill in is about your ideal partner. Well, you're the pro. Maybe you can give me a hint. So here's the deal. You need a girl with a sense of humor and passionate about her work. Yeah. And she must be a keen traveler. And most importantly, she has to be faithful. Am I right? And where can I find one? I'll send you profiles. Can I not read them? I'll rely on your taste. and I want a child. I am looking for a donor for surrogacy. Your personal data suits me perfectly. Payment in cash. Good night, my captain. Fate itself brought us together in this ocean of passions. What will our meeting lead to? A new journey or a shipwreck? Masha. Yeah. Tomorrow is your first date. Her name is Masha. She's a photographer, an adventurer, loves to travel, and you have a lot in common. I also had a lot in common with my ex, but it didn't save our marriage. Listen, we need to look to your future, not the past, right? Masha invited you to the regatta tomorrow. Meet me at the Yacht Club tomorrow morning at 9. So you'll be there too? Well, of course. I have to make sure that everything works out for That's you. That's great. You'll finally realize that you're much better at baking cakes than making relationships. Bye. We'll see about that. There she is. Hello. Uh, hello. Let me introduce you. This is Nadia, my colleague. This is Masha. Nice to meet you. Me too. Um, the team has already gathered. Dima, Olisa, and you need to register as well. I'll fill it in. Please have a seat. When we were in the regatta, where will we celebrate? The Olivieri restaurant. Oh. Do you like more expensive places? Rather the excellent food. The chef there is amazing. How much should your husband earn? I'm trying to understand if I can financially support you. Um, money is not the main thing in a relationship. 
I make good money on my own. A career woman? Why a careerist right way? I work, but I dream of a family. So you're ready to quit your job? For the sake of your family? Yes. And I can still take pictures anytime. Well, that's obvious. It's very comfortable when you're being taken care of. I'll be right back. If you need me, I'm in the same place. We're gonna do a reshuffle. Sure. What did you say to her? What? It seemed like we had a normal conversation. Well, we're on different teams now. Really? That's okay. We can go swimming ourselves. Let's go to the training. Let's go, let's go. Why did you push her away? Isn't it the point that girls have to pierce my bachelor's armor? You just have to be yourself, that's all. To be yourself? Did they teach you this at the How to Make a Millionaire online marathon? Or what women's courses do you attend? I don't attend anything. Then where does this knowledge come from? A rich personal life? Ah! Hey! Take it. Thank you. Is everything okay? Yes. Thank you for getting me out. Don't scare me like that anymore, okay? Okay. My grandmother was a matchmaker. That's why I know so much about people. Sometimes she used to say that people can't see each other. And that's why they sometimes get burned. If you're so perceptive, why aren't you married then? Mom, thank you so much. This is the dress of my dreams. It's my wedding gift to you. Look how beautiful you are in it. Mom! Thanks, I'll be right back. Yeah, hello. Nadia, a friend of the instructor called Andre. There's been an accident. Nadia. Nadia! So why aren't you married yourself? I see. The shoemaker's son always goes barefoot. Maybe we can get your grandmother involved in my story too. Two matchmakers are better than one. My grandmother died. That's where this regatta ends. I'm sorry. Do you want to ride? No need. I'll take a taxi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're really pretty. <laughs> Thank you. This is for you. Thank you. My favorite. How did you know? Well, we have a mutual friend. Oh, Nadia. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, please, sit down. Thank you. How are your kids at music school? Did Vasya learn C minor? You remembered? Sure. You've told me so much about him. He is very lucky with his teacher. I had a teacher who was not so nice. Good afternoon. Uh-huh. So this is who you traded me for? Yegor, no one invited you. Please leave. You couldn't find anyone better? Come on. You've been asked to leave. Mm-hmm. Actually, Christina, I'm happy for you. I really am. You have a rich dad. The director of an agricultural holding. Who will wash the boy, dress him, and spare no expense for a new toy for his daughter. Igor, stop it. Alright, alright. 
Have your dinner. By the way, she is a total zero in bed. Come on. Be a man. Not my style. Ah. Could you help us, please? Can we get some ice? Does it hurt? It's okay. Can you still play? It's okay, really. Look. I'm just a musician. You and I are from different worlds. Are you going to give up on me so easily? Mr. Boris, it's Yehor. Listen to me. Please don't hang up. Your daughter's new, new boyfriend is a scam artist. He set me up so he could get close to Christina. Olina, I can't forget our correspondence. Maybe I just need a friend. I don't understand myself. Today I offended a good person. She is sweet and naive, but she doesn't know life at all. You were right from the beginning. I ran away to the city to get away from my past. Have you ever been betrayed? Nadia, hurry up. We're in trouble. What happened? You look upset. There's an unscheduled inspection. It's all the work of Yehor. What a vengeful guy. It's okay. Don't worry. We have a highly exemplary factory. I know. But this inspector's a real troublemaker. She's always searching. Uh, Alexandra! Well, what do you think of our... What do you think of our sorting shop? I'd like to take a look at your pastry shops. Yes, of course. Here. Come on in. Quickly change and bring me a robe. Okay. Our pastry shop is equipped with the most modern equipment. All safety measures and sanitary standards are met. We keep a close eye on this. What is this? It's expired. It should have been disposed of yesterday. Who was responsible for this? Okay. It's my fault. Well, in short, the factory will be fined. And if I find even one more violation, the production will shut down. Why did you shield me? Because I'm your boss, Vera. Thank you. I'm just raising my brother on my own. He got into a fight at school yesterday. So I just forgot. I can't lose this job. No one will lose anything. Alexandra, we'll fix everything. Don't punish us so harshly. One mistake leads to another. Goodbye. Everyone has the right to make a mistake. It's crucial to correct it in time. We're ready to prove that we do not use expired products. It was an accident, and it will never happen again. But please. There are mistakes that cannot be corrected. Nadia, because of the instructor's mistake, they fell into a cliff. They're taking the bodies out now. Nadia, we still don't know anything yet. Mom, they're taking out the bodies. One climber survived and is being airlifted to a hospital. Is it Andre? It's still unknown. I'll be waiting for you at the hospital. Vera, I, 
I've been wanting to... What do you want? To tell me that you're also going to lose your job because of me? Can I help you somehow? How? My brother had a fight at school. He smashed his classmate's pricey phone, and now we have to pay it back. And how if I get fired? I can... There's nothing you can do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I came at the wrong time. Dennis? Yeah? Can you help me? Urgent order for shipment. What's wrong with him? I don't know. Everyone has their own troubles. Dad, why did you come home so late last night? I stayed late at the restaurant. Who is Christina? She's my new friend. Don't you love mom anymore? My dear, I will always love her, but... Why do we need this Christina? Dad, we don't need her. Alia. Alia. That's it. Stop shedding tears. Come on. Pull yourself together. Breathe in and out, okay? Let's get back to work. What do you think? Is there a chance that the inspector will change her mind? <sighs> There's always a chance. So let's go to work. Come on. Let's go. It's you? I don't take bribes. Principal, that's rare nowadays. Especially in such a structure. Compliments won't help either. I'm not here because of the fact. Your words today, you were not talking about the inspection. It's something personal. Nadia, if I'm not mistaken, the exit is where the entrance is. You were badly hurt, weren't you? Is that why you don't forgive mistakes? Yeah, I don't forgive. Not even myself. An innocent flirt. Just one night. I ruined my family. And here I am, alone. You can't make mistakes. Do you still love him? Your husband? Well... <laughs> He has a young wife, two children, and I, I'm a downed pilot. No one wants a woman over 40. That's not true. Listen, I have a friend. He's strong, responsible, and romantic. Do you want me to set you up on a date tonight? You're not judging me? How can I judge a person who is sincerely sorry? You need to forgive yourself. I'm not ready. How long do you need to get out of this office and give yourself a chance to live? But I can't wear this. I don't even remember how, how it feels to go on a date. It's okay, you'll remember. We'll stop by the shops on the way. Timur is waiting for you at that table. Um, and... What if your future husband is waiting for you in this restaurant? Come on, go ahead! Mm-hmm.
Alia, nobody will ever replace your mom. You've never lied to me before. Well, I didn't know how to tell you about her. But you're an adult. You have to be smarter. I have to. But we adults don't always succeed. I'll think it over. And I'll beat you. Just try it. <laughs> yeah. Alexandra, it's you. Hello. Hello, Nadia. Here, I've come to recheck you. To give you another chance. As you've seen, we do everything by the rules, only fresh products. Well done. <laughs> I've noted that. And there will be no fine? No. Thank you. Thanks to Nadia. She knows how to find the right key to people. We saw the sun rise today. In a hot air balloon. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what romance is. You know, no woman should forget about it. Have a nice day. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, let me walk you out. So you set her up with a man and we were forgiven a million dollar fine? I helped her meet a man and did it from the bottom of my heart. I didn't think your talent would be enough to save this factory. I can't believe you recognize that I have a talent. Definitely. A talent for interfering in people's lives. What if they don't succeed tomorrow? Do we have to wait for another inspection? Personally, I will wait for the wedding invitation. Are you mad because I arranged her personal life and not yours? Are we going to follow him all day? I'm late for my manicure. Have you forgotten why we're here? How many times have I asked you not to text me when Christina is with me? Come on, don't be mad, honey. Do you think your plan will work? Go ahead. Excuse me, I'm lost and can't find my way. Which way is Cosmonauts Avenue? Oh, you need to go onto the boulevard. There, turn right and turn There's a ahead. huge maze and I'm lost and can't get a taxi. Oh. What is it? Oh. Are you not feeling uh, well? Uh, I feel dizzy. Probably the weather. Do you need a doctor? I, no, I don't. Wait a minute, it'll be over soon. Listen, why don't I give you a ride? Oh. I, I would be very grateful to you. Yeah, let's go. Watch your step. You're Thanks. welcome. May I have some tea, please? beautiful stranger you have touched my heart even through the screen I can feel your charm your photo made me feel something inside am I being sentimental yes I am but I'm not afraid to open my heart to you Angela I'm pleased that such a lovely girl noticed me so tell me about yourself I love to travel I can't sit still the world is so boundless I want to visit all the unknown corners of the world with you. Have you been to Kathmandu? A furious rhythm combined with traditions. The city is an anthill. You are both a part of the whole in a small grain of sand. You should definitely visit it. I will definitely do that. But for now, only outings with friends. Fishing is our favorite pastime. 
Fishing? We have so much in common. Maybe we can meet tonight? I'll be waiting for our meeting. Here you are. Thanks. Thank you for saving all of us. I don't even know what would I have done with Vera, this job. This is probably the third time you've thanked me, and you're glowing, as if you have a date. So, who with? You won't prove with Valera. I've already told you, I can't stop you from making mistakes. And you're never mistaken? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. My brother is completely out of control. He needs a man around and Falera. He's, he may be not the best, but he's strong. And he's good looking. Vera, do you want some advice? Choose a man with your heart and not your head. When you're responsible for another person, you have to think with your head. Are you trying to persuade me or yourself now? Thanks for your support. What are your plans for tonight? I found the perfect girl for you. She's smart, creative, and loves to travel. I don't have any plans. I look forward to getting to know this protege of yours. See you then. See you. So I'm wondering where my fiance is. Is she late? No, she was pulling the wool over my eyes. I didn't even recognize you, Angela. How did you know? Intuition. And if you knew all along, what are we doing here? Wait, wait, wait. You decided to set us up on a date? I'm not sure how you're going to take this, but we're not good for each other. So there will be no date? Why not? There will be. Let's go. Where? To meet your destiny. What's your middle name? Alexeyevich. Is this a cult? No, it's speed dating. You'll have 15 dates in one night. Adios, I'm going home. Refusing to date is a defeat. So technically, if you leave, I'm the chief pastry chef. Okay. But you're coming with me, because an unmarried matchmaker is somehow dishonorable. You'll scare away all the clients. I would love to. Petrova, right? Petrova. I'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. You will have five minutes to talk to each participant. The men will move on my command. Everyone, have a nice evening. Hello. Nadia. I'm Constantine. A pathologist. That's a difficult profession. Not everyone dares to choose it. You are the first one who isn't scared. Usually the conversation doesn't go on. Well, people are afraid of what they don't understand. Do you usually attend these things? My third time now. Hmm. Didn't it work out the first time? You know, I believe that there is no need to rush into love affairs. Well, you're right. We need to take a closer look. I know what you mean. Tell me, what else inspires you in life? Well, I love jazz. Jazz? I'll tell you a secret. Girls love men who are into music. You should start the conversation with jazz. Hmm? 
I wonder, what exactly do you look for in your chosen one? The chosen one should not run after men, should cook borscht and darn <laughs> socks. Do you know how to cook? No. So a couch potato? Tomorrow, do you believe in aliens? What? Aliens. No. Why not? When I was six, they kidnapped me, but I escaped from them. How? I don't know. I don't know. They erased my memory. I work as a firefighter. Just the other day, I carried a child out of a burning fire in my arms. What a twist. And how many women fall for it? What do you mean? Firefighters have scars from fire. You don't. And if you offend at least one woman here, I will find you. Moreover, I know a pathologist. Hmm? But now they are constantly watching me. Even now. Don't turn around. Is origami your hobby? Well, not really. I'm a pediatrician. Many children are afraid of doctors. So I came up with the idea of making all kinds of animals out of paper to cheer them up. It's for you. It's pretty, thank you. Who's this? M my coach. She teaches me to be relaxed. To adapt to men. Don't ever do that. You have to be real. Ugh, I'm starting to quote her. She just got into my head. Who? You're romantic. Yes, if a girl inspires me. And you inspire me, Nadia. That's Nadia. An annoying young lady who tries to arrange my personal life. We work together. She's a pastry chef, and I'm a pastry chef. Only I look for new forms, and she makes classic, ordinary cakes. But there's some kind of magic in her. Okay. So, how's it going? Boring. And I realized how you figured out Angela. Fishing? Why did you decide not to put that in the profile? You interrupted the conversation about it. I didn't want anyone to bring it up. The topic of my father isn't easy for me. When I was a child, we often went fishing with him and with my brother. And my father was a sailor. And no one will ever be able to tell about traveling like him. So that's where your love for regattas comes from, right? He taught me everything. And when he passed away, I started fishing alone. But I'm not that good at fishing. Why not your brother? We have different interests. You have five minutes. Thank you for your time. Get to the point. Mr. Boris, I never cheated on your daughter. It's true. I just wanted Christina to be a little jealous of me, and as a result, I fell into a trap. We're all in one group. A musician, a pastry chef, and... By the way, that girl. They planned everything so carefully to defame me. And to ruin our wedding. They want to fool Christina to get your money. Send me this photo. Mm. I love your daughter. I want to be with her. Please, help me. You're free. Dear guest of our club, the first part of the evening is over. You can continue your socializing on our dance floor. I've had enough. We're leaving. Victor, where are you going? 
We're not letting you go anywhere. And you haven't told me this is a recipe yet. The first dance is mine. Excuse me, pardon me. Hello. What are you doing here? Uh, is it a party? We'll have company? This is Pasha's friend. He's leaving already. Yeah. Ah. Come on in. A phone. You don't have to feel sorry for me, okay? I can handle everything on my own. Your eye. What else? Have a nice evening. Valero, wait. I made dinner. Later. Everything later. How long has it been since we've seen each other? Three weeks? Three months, Valera. All the more reason. So why put it off? Hold on. My brother will be here soon. What do you mean? I thought we were going to spend the evening alone. And you took care of everything. I wanted to introduce you. Don't you think you should have warned me in advance? I didn't come here to meet your brother. Okay. Let's be quick then. Valera. You'd better leave. I may not call you again. Do me the favor. I must say, you're getting rid of your competitors in a very creative way. What are you doing here? I decided to escape from those predators. It's all for your own good. By the way, did you know the history of this fountain? It said that Arthur Perry invented his famous dessert here. No, I didn't know. Enjoy your walk. I'll walk you home. By the way, this Oleg from Speed Dating asked me for your number. And so? So I decided not to give it to him without your consent. Thank you for that. Don't you want to continue with him? It seems to me that you two are the perfect match. Let me remind you that I am the matchmaker here. Come on, what kind of matchmaker are you? You don't even have a man. Why do you say that? I have a beloved man. How does he feel about your matchmaking? He's great. That's a lie. You don't have one. Why do you think that? Your eyes aren't shining. You're imagining things. Will you introduce me to him? I don't take my work home. Oh, where's your guy? He's not coming, so we'll have dinner by ourselves. I'm not hungry. I'm going to play soccer with the guys. And homework? It'll wait. No, you're not going anywhere. You're always outside or playing your PlayStation. You should be thinking about school. I've barely solved the problem with the phone. I'll be back in an hour, maybe two.
My love, I can't forget you. Your lips, your eyes, your warmth. You blame me for everything. Yes, I'm guilty. And I'm willing to beg for your forgiveness for the rest of my life. I made a mistake, but I never stopped loving you. You can't just erase our 10 years. Are you looking for a replacement here? Or maybe you've already found one. Every day since you've left, I've been waiting for you. You are running away from me, but I am your shadow. I will follow you everywhere, because I am in your heart. Christina, we need to talk. Dad, I have a solfage lesson. I have to go. It's your evenings that excite me. This musician... Dad, have you forgotten how old I am? I'll decide who I want to date. But you don't know him at all. Besides, he's not from our circle. It's you who doesn't know him. And not everything is measured by money. Love definitely is not. She's already half an hour late. She must have seen me, got scared, and ran away. No, she'll come. She'll definitely come. Well? By the way, I also have a surprise for you. Yeah? What is it? I didn't give him your number, but I told him where to find you. Today we'll have a double date. Ta-da! How do you like that? Hello. Mmm. My favorite. What are you doing here? Thank you for answering my message. I didn't expect to reach you. What message? I've been waiting for this for so long. This is some kind of mistake. I love you. Do you? <gasps> Look at that. What a show. Shame. Victor, wait. Hold on, please. I warned you. I told you to stay out of it. You two need to talk. Do we need to? Didn't you forget to ask me? But she loves you. She slept with my brother. Is that what you do when you love someone? No more dates. You have no idea how much pain I've been through. Misha. Misha, where is he? Is he alive? Say something! Out of your weight. It's not him. <laughs> Why? Why is it not hungry? <laughs> Boris Olkovsky, Christina's father. I'm glad to meet you. I'm Misha. How much do you want to leave my daughter alone? I don't understand you. What part of my question do you find unclear? Tell me the amount. I want to be with Christina. I don't need your money. You don't want to resolve the issue in a good way. So, we'll resolve it in my way. For the musical accompaniments. Girls, have you seen Victor? I've been looking for him. Don't you know what happened? What should I know? Victor is now our YouTube star. His five-tiered cake? 
fell apart on the diplomat's anniversary. The guest filmed it and posted it on the internet. With a factory hashtag. Mr. Gorilla was angry this morning. And we told Victor that this would happen, but he didn't listen to us. He was working at Le Cordon Bleu, and we are peasants. You know, I've already asked to be transferred back to his fortune area. Girls, wait. Don't leave him. I know he's not a gift, but he's a good man, really. You have so many orders, how will he cope on his own? I didn't want to go, but he forced me to go. Nadia, good things come in small packages. I have to apologize. I will help you with your orders. Not your problem. I don't want to hear anything from you, or about you. Just get out of my life. Nadia. Nadia, congratulations. You're the chief pastry chef. And Victor? I'm going to write an order to fire him. This French star has crossed the line. The staff is complaining. He's rude and he makes a mockery of the factory. Mr. Krilo, I have never asked for anything, but now I am begging you. Please give him one more chance. His job is the only thing he has left. All right. I'll give him one last chance. But he's your responsibility. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't answer you right away. If you need a friend, I'm here for you. We're separated by hundreds of kilometers. But what is distance? You asked me if I had been betrayed. Did I feel so much pain that I was torn from the inside? When you desperately swallow the air and it just eats away at you even more? When the ground is slipping away from under your feet? Yes. I was betrayed. Thank you. Let's do this quietly. Take out your wallet. Or what? Are you tired of living? I can ask you the same question. Are you fucking crazy? Hey, what happened there? Eh, ask them about it. Stop. Stop, freeze. Go to hell. Lie down for a while. That's it, that's it. Are you okay? Yeah, they just fired me. And now they don't want to hire me in other restaurants. But don't worry, I can handle it. It's my dad, I'll talk to him. No, you don't have to. I'll handle this on my own. If I need to prove to your father that I love you, I'm ready. Let's go. Where? To my place. Oh no, you know, it's kind of awkward. I will not hide you from my daughter. Let's go. Let's go. Hello? Hello, Victor. No, this is Major Reznichenko. Your Victor is in a temporary detention center. Why? What happened? Detained for misbehavior. Fight. You know, Christina, you're not that pretty. Alia, why are you doing this? You taught me to tell the truth. Am I supposed to lie? I've never considered myself beautiful. An ugly duckling. I also loved playing the piano and reading encyclopedias. My mom would bring them to me when she returned from a business trip. Encyclopedias? Mm-hmm. Alia is a huge fan of encyclopedias. We don't know where to put them anymore. Will you show them to Christina? Why? Uh, 
Okay, next time. I hope there won't be a next time. And that. Tell your friend not to stay too long. This is indecent. I'm going to bed. I have a schedule, you know? Alia. Don't. Don't worry, she's just jealous over you. She needs some time. You're right. I rely on you very much. There's no personal life with this work. I can imagine. <laughs> Only whores around. Here is your Orlov. Take him. Let's go. Ugh, what are you doing here? I came to help you. Thank you, but I didn't ask for your help. I'll take you home. Listen, I'm confused. Are you a matchmaker or Mother Teresa? Leave me alone. Getting drunk in a bar is not an option. You're responsible to the factory in case you forgot. I can handle this myself. How much do I owe you for your services? Sit down. You're a good actress. Well, just great. A psychologist, a fine manipulator. That's how you decided to get rid of your competitor, isn't it? What do you mean? I know everything. I know that there was an order to fire me, that Mr. Carrillo defended me. He decided to give me a second chance. So? It didn't work, did it? The plan failed? I had nothing to do with that at all. Oh, come on. What did you say to me when we first met? That... We are family, even if we are competitors? It's lovely. Only in reality, you were afraid that you wouldn't get a promotion made up this stupid argument, dragged me into it, and brought my ex to me? You've knocked the ground out from under my feet. You know, it worked. That's not true. But it is true. My biggest regret is that I believed in your sincerity. And I was wrong again. I was wrong about you. Tomorrow you'll be ashamed of those words. I'll become the chief pastry chef, and you'll spend the rest of your life making wedding cakes. Empty and fake, just like you. Is that really what you think of me? I don't want to think about anyone at all. Did you meet him? Good evening to you too, Dad. Have you decided to make him wander the world? Put him out of work? Well, love makes cottage a castle, doesn't it? You should be ashamed. Look, who should be ashamed? Alina, I'm sorry that you, like me, have become a victim of betrayal. Now you are the only person who will understand me. I am at the bottom. I want to push myself up and rise to the surface. But the quagmire of memories pulls me in more and more. These wounds will not heal soon. Even when the scars are no longer visible, the pain haunts us. No one knows or sees how difficult it is for us. But we try to smile again, and we just have to learn to live with it. How? How do you learn to live with the betrayal of two of your closest people? Live through the pain. Don't run away from it. Have you been able to believe again?
Hello, babe. I missed you so much. Are you real? What? Well, of course I'm real. What else could I be? Oh, you must have been sleeping. I woke you up. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so tired from the road. Do we have anything to eat? You should have seen the beauty there. We climbed to the very top. I... <sighs> I took so many photos. But just imagine, Vitaly broke my camera. Oh, I'm sorry. Vitaly just texted me. He said that I forgot some documents at his place. Well, I'll have to go by tomorrow to pick them up. Hmm. <gasps> I forgot! I bought you a present. What is it? Here's the gift. It's nothing serious. Just a small fling and that's it. Tally is dead. So is Ehor. What? Call your mom. She thinks you're dead. I'm sorry. I'll... I'll fix everything. No, you can't. You died for me. Three days ago. Losing your beloved husband, getting him back again only to find out about the betrayal. Lena, you are strong. And he's a scumbag. I would have hit him if I had met him. He started an affair with the daughter of the owner of the football club where he worked as an assistant coach. He crossed out everything we had built. Maybe it was just me. And my wife cheated on me with my brother. I found out about their affair from a social media chat and about her abortion. She didn't know whose child it was, so she decided not to have it. She didn't want to lose me, but it could have been my child. I am so sorry. I would have loved the baby. I couldn't tell anyone the truth. You're the first person I've poured my heart out to. I need you, Olina. Don't disappear. I'm here. 